I'm your daughter, Jenny, remember? I was here yesterday. Oh. Oh, yes, Jenny. <laughs> How are you doing? Are you doing okay? Everybody here seems very nice. I want to go home. Oh, I'd like that, Mom. I really would. But it's just not possible. I have to work all day, and, and you need someone to watch you. And I, I just can't afford that. Try to understand. Everything I've done for you, I did for our mother. And now you're going to break her heart anyway. You know I can't represent you? Because I want you convicted. I want you locked up where you can't hurt anybody else. And maybe, just maybe, turn your life around. Yeah, I can't believe what I'm hearing because what I'm hearing is that you don't care about me even though I'm your brother. Get used to jail, little brother. You're gonna be here a while. Hey, Amanda. Am Amanda! Amanda! I'll race you to the ranch yonder. What you got to do that's so important? See that sycamore hanging out over the water? I'll bet I can skin a cat for you. Oh, I fell in. And the water's cold. It's so cold. Oh, no. The shatter. The shatter's coming for me. How are the cats? I will call the police and they will come and arrest you again. Is that what you want? Well, Dr. Kuntz says I should just let go, but I don't know what I'm supposed to let go of. Me, Dwayne! He's telling you to let go of me! Well, that's why I stopped going to him. What kind of gun? A little nickel-plated twenty-two. Huh. Then when I was taking some target practice out in the backyard, I accidentally killed the neighbor's dog. <gasps> little Pekingese. It was awful. I had to bury the dog, lie to the neighbors. And the ironic thing is, Dwayne was in a car accident and laid up for three weeks. I don't even know if he can drive anymore. Maybe I didn't even need the gun. <laughs> <laughs>